My name is Lee Zolman and I am the owner of Body Zen Multisport Coaching. I came up with the name Body Zen because I really believe there's an integration between the mind and the body when doing sport, especially swimming, cycling, and running. And uh, your body's not going to go anywhere without your mind telling you how to do it. Can you explain how someone who's getting uh, ready for their first 5K can connect their, bo their mind to their body to achieve it? Oh, so many ways, but a few good ways is just reaffirming the goals in your head, thinking about why you're doing it, why you're out there training every day, um, why you're going to be doing the 5K and reaffirming those goals in your head, whether it's a fundraising event like the Live Long event or whether it's a personal goal to finish a 5K or, or maybe your 10th 5K and, and to do a, a, a better time. Um, uh, I think that that's a big one. Uh, also having a mantra in your head, having a mantra that's going to help motivate you uh, throughout training and throughout racing and uh, something like uh, uh, I am a jet fighter, I am a jet fighter, that would be a mantra, mm -hmm. but uh, you really want to practice your mental skills in training so you can take them into the race. It's the same thing as your physical skills, so you never, you never go into a race without um, having some sort of mental affirmation or, or a mantra that you've used in, in a hard training session uh, before. So it gets you through a hard training session and you know it works, so you take it into the race with you. When someone is uh, doing, say, the half marathon and they're at that point, they hit that wall, how can they push themselves through it? Well, you have to also think about is it a, is it a physical wall or is it a mental wall? And um, how can they push themselves through it is using, once again, those, those mantras. Um, but it could be a physical wall. If it's a physical wall and they're, they're running low on calories, energy gels are great. Um, energy chews like blocks are great, uh, sports drink is great, whatever kind of electrolyte sports drink, uh, that tends to work really well. Uh, but yeah, if you're feeling weak, if you're feeling down, you have to reaffirm why you're out there, you certainly can't quit. So you have to finish it somehow, so down a couple gels, get in some sports drink and, and push through as much as possible. Um, some of those physical walls in races also occur because the athlete doesn't pace himself well enough. So they might start off too fast. We have a, a great saying in endurance sports, which is start fast, finish last. So you really want to pace yourself well in these events. Get a coach like at bodyzen.com, get a good training plan. Your coach will help you figure out your pace zones, and you go from there. What's the one bit of advice you can give to anyone who's just starting getting into endurance sports? The one bit of advice, that's going to be a tough one, but I would say consistency aim for consistency. So um, if you're running or you're walking, uh, make sure you're consistent with it three to four times a week. Um, if I had to give one, there's a lot to it. It's very hard to just do one. But if I had to give one, it would be to stay consistent.